Anviri Deyo, let's talk about Anviri Deyo. Yeah. You, you, you highlighted <coughs> something small, but what was the message behind it? What inspired you to sing Anviri Deyo? Anviri Deyo was inspired by what I went through. I went through what they call a spiritual attack that almost took my life. And glory to God that I am alive. I believe that I've been given a second chance. And even without him knowing me, uh, without or together, or bad daddy, you're all gangster and all that, yeah? And then God comes through for you in this big way. I feel like God has done something amazing, and I pray and hope that most people see this interview and also get inspired to come to Christ, because Katonda at Wagala, God is pure love, and you come as you are. Tagenda kuja jinga mboba teka tistole chiwa. So I, yanjagala naam vida yo in the hardest situation of my life. I, it's very hard to explain that thing, but I'll try as we go. But anyway. Hello my people, welcome back to my channel. Dennis Duke is my name. If you're new here, please make it a point to subscribe. And like I told you, it's usually business not as usual because this is how i do it well today i have none other than your favorite well she has been off the music scene for some time i don't know why but those are some of the questions that we are yet to ask her akomio grace nachimera is in the building today welcome to my show thank you thank you how are you i'm all right how are you grace? <laughs> Oh, I can't tell. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you a little bit. Jesus is good. That's what's up. So you've been eating on uh, Jesus' stuff? No, I feel like God has been good to me and I'm okay. grateful. So I, th that's the only credit I can give is glory to God. Okay. Yes. Like I told you, she is back with a bank. Well, I told you guys that... Email me your questions and I'll definitely be asking uh, her some of those questions. So where have you been? Mm, but they, actually, I've been doing quite a lot. I've been working with my charity organization. I've been, I'm a mom as well. Also a lot of family stuff going on in the background. Um, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> Should we say that uh, that motherly thing that you've mentioned is the one that has kept you away? The, there's more to the story though like there's more to the story because I've, I've been going through something and uh, it's very not easy to talk about but it's my testimony and I want to give glory to God so maybe we get to talk about it but there's more there's more than just saying oh it's home I've been home no there's more than that okay. so if you I don't know also but when you take things slowly slowly I go tell you <laughs> You know, but before that, Grace yeah. Nachimeda, about the Abu Zenyo Kusin, uh, to be dated to Chamulaba mm. to Gamenti Wagua Omonto Enzo Gamba Nagua, Nains and those Omonto Agamba and Tinagua, when Banga Sisabanga Kucha, Kuria, a woman to Wona, Yena, when Banga Sisabanga Komon to Wuyan. Then you can't say that because I'm blessed. I live in my own home, I'm doing my own thing. Atene chensu vila nchi omutu waganti no yagua, chitegezo obeda muavu ngo wede mtu ena cholina. Oba chitegeza nchi you're not on the scene anymore. But also, ni waba Michael Jackson, their ups and lows. Ngo msana ya guambuka, nunira gumane kolachi, neguka. So with all that information, I feel like, buliomwa chituwala inga buyandi chaga do chituwala, really. Yeah. Okay. Mm. You've been hearing a lot that you've been doing and... Uh, one of it is that over uh, day when you get your charity. Yeah. Why did you choose to do charity as a person? Well, I chose charity because it's a promise I made to God way before I even became a Christian. If you're serious, I promised God that when I'm going to a chance and I'm able to to do something, I will give back. One on power, one on blessing. But then I didn't do that in time. And when I got a second chance to be here, which I call a second chance, I, I'm happy that I did get the second chance. And I'm doing it, actually. We have uh, homes in different places. For now, we have a home in Iganga, one in uh, Mukono, and another one on the way in Jesus' name. Mm. So how do you, first of all, also all, 
How do you manage to do this? Oso volo oti o vango chikola voti. Eh, anti katia oche so ruachi takes me back to say that omuntu aso volo ku o kuwa charity. Taso volo kubanga ate yetarina. Eh, so I'm grateful to the to God that God has blessed me to be able to do that to take care of over 50 children. I'm happy that I'm able to do that. Na ya te nechira la chema nyinti katonda agabidira abantuwe. Obeira wanongoloza nti, eh, I don't have so much going on. Then katonda nagula uo mkisa nofu na chino nofu na chiri. Ate na ano uchizamu na chitegira nti okozechi. Uchizamu. So, katonda ugendo lava ngata dewo away where there was no way. Grace, so to bully the county, you're likely having a child. I mean, first of all, congratulations. Yeah. Secondly, yeah. when did this happen or I've been behind the news or somebody out there has been behind the news? No, I have, I have one child, but I'm a mother of many. I have, my daughter is making 13 soon and <laughs> Well, my daughter is making 13 and I'm a mother of many, meaning all these children that I, I am I'm taking care of. And I love them dearly. I love you. I'm coming soon. Uh, should we say you had taken a break or Kuvamu music somehow? Yes, I needed to take a break because there was more going on into my life. There was something going on that is not a joke, that is very hard to even explain to people because what's going on here. But I needed a break because I had to. Pardon? Yeah, I had to give myself time. I had to give myself to give myself time to recover, because I was going through something that they call a spiritual attack. That is very hard to explain to a normal man. So most times, unless I'm giving a testimony, it's very hard to talk about. Actually, yes. Okay, so now you are back. Now that you are back. Um, why did you then decide to come back? I decided because I'm doing this with a purpose. I'm doing this one to serve God because he gave me a second chance to be here. I almost lost my life a few months, a few years ago. And with that, I have a reminder that God is great. God is God works and I'm serving God. So, ndiwa nokutekawo a little bagamba and to tafali tono kuwaka baka waka tonda. Why? Because he saved my life. He changed my life. He gave me a second chance to be here. I believe for sure 150% that Katonda Yeyam I'm here because he let me be. Um, Tukulavyeko oyimbye nyimba nyinji Onyambanga mkama Onyambanga mkama nungkwatako What exactly did you mean with that song? Why did you have that? That song was a cry. A cry to, to ask God where to go. Now I know that in the secular world, because it's crazy stuff. You hear all the battles and you're like, I wish you were. this is the way to go. Because it doesn't feel like it's safe. So that was my cry of help to God, to ask him, Katonda, direct me to the right place. Please show me the right person. Because that's something I said. So, and then God did that for me yeah so for now i have two new singles i have Amviri Deo and Yan Sasira and i'm super excited about them super uh, in the first place to all of uh, uh, grace nachimira in another picture in mm. two pictures as uh, one she sings good gospel songs but then somebody would attach you to the secular world yeah how true was that i how i didn't understand like, the question Tuwaji tukulaba oyimba gospel yeah. na yomu ntu wa sobolo kubanga akulachi aku akwefa na nyizo kubanti oyimba biansi. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. How did you take that? Uh, well, at this, for me I sing music based on where I am. My music is a story. I'm telling a story. It's a true story. So, buli change oge la china jechiva. It's not like, eh, okay, now I'm just trying to get a hit and boom, boom, kapow. No, 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 no. That's not how I do music. I do music with a passion. My music has soul. There's a reason for that because it's real. It's not like shake your bam bam and let's go. No, that's not the type of music I do. So 
wherever I am and whatever situation I'm going through, I try to share that. Yes. Uh, how many songs do you have so far? I have uh, on my latest uh, work, I do have Amviri Deo, it's a gospel lovely song. I have Yansa Sida, the most beautiful song for sure. Like literally, I'm saying that because I believe it. And I know the message behind Yan Sasira is Fena 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 Bantuano. Abali wo katonda to Sasira Busansis. Because how do you even wake up? How do you know what happens when you sleep? No Zuku Kango, Limulamu, nothing wrong with you and, and your family. So thank God for that. So that's why I sang Yan Sasira. And more to come. Okay. Yes. But like in total, like in total. since the time you started singing. Since, since like I, how many do you have? I have more than 20 songs. Okay. More than 30, I think. Because from Ania Kumani to now, a lot of crazy songs. There's one thing I love about Grace Nachimera, you guys, that possibly you do not know, is uh, the fact that her videos are a lot of work. When I say a lot of work, it really takes somebody time and uh, resources to do it. To be very honest, for the time I have uh, uh, possibly commented on music, I've always said this and I'll continue saying it, even in, right in her face, that her videos are really good. And that's why I think a couple of years ago you used to win awards for the best videos. Yeah. How do you manage to put down the choreography and all that? Uh, it's easy. You put in hard work. I'm a perfectionist. I like good things. I, if I'm to drive a machine, I'll drive a good car. I don't like mediocre i i don't i i if i'm to build a house it would be like a mega <laughs> or else I'll, I'll work towards it so i like to do things that are meaning so, so that's been my strategy from day one if it's if it needs choreography, we're going to work day and night. We're going to get everybody together and do the needful. That's my strategy. Who sponsors your music videos and perhaps audios? I do. Maybe I know a sponsor. Apparently. Lord have mercy. Hey. <laughs> 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 I saying what I'm thinking you're saying. Exactly. Are you serious? Um, yes. No, I don't no sponsors here, please. This is out of good work. God. Okay. Um uh, as I speak but the sponsors can come. Okay, if they want. No, I uh, think no. <laughs> okay. that was a joke, guys. So uh, I'm seated next to uh, Grace Nachimera. For those of you who've just joined us, she is a lovely, beautiful musician, and uh, she has had quite a huge success in the music industry, with no doubt. It's it's one name that you can never come and rubbish. Right about now, I see a ring on her finger, yeah. and that brings me to another question. Yes. You know the question. <laughs> no. The question I told you, are you married? Like, married? I'm engaged and I'm very happy. And I love my partner. He's, he's like the most amazing person. So kind, so real. And so. God's things are nice. Eh? God's things are nice. Huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. So, t how do you manage to keep him uh, away from the media? To be very honest, uh, until today, I don't know. I don't know how he looks like. Yeah. Um, it's, I think it's important to separate things. Maybe in to be in Zokutabuka. I've seen a few messes up around. And you're like, mm. because at the end of the day, even relationships, you're still in the honeymoon phase, and then it runs out. So in that running out, and you're all like out and dry, what happens? Punches and punches and da, da, da. and a relationship that was beautiful between the two people becomes for the world. I am not about that business. I love my man and he loves me. That's the that's the business. Somewhere, someone out there has a comment on my relationship. Nah, it's not that business. What what are some of the your your recent observations in the music industry? Observations, chi zewa kalabanti. Eh. This is how the music industry is currently going. I, I see people doing well. I see people moving with the trends. Of course, things keep changing. Like, 
omuntu eyaliko 10 years ago tasola kubanga kati ya chikuba it's very very hard why because there's fresh things there's abana bato they're doing things in a certain way which i respect by the way. big up to all the to, to everybody that has been putting in the work it's evident chirabika yeah so i i i feel like abana bongere work though there's something i feel that has just that is not clicking yet with me the way we used to do music is different i don't know if i'm stuck in the past but i would say that uruimba ina kuzino rubera ke mize satu and yes boom boom kapao it's done and you're like what happened to that maddox music that stays on for a while for like even 10 years even to exactly and it's relatable even after two years at least kale tuchiwe two years but you can hear some of the music that was released early this year and you're like okay what happened here so i feel like people need to do more substance put more uh, that's what i'm doing anyway so i'm good we talk over over oyagala abateke more than just uh nice videos i feel like they do very nice videos they look good they look like rihanna and all this but i feel like the originality is very yeah and then the substance like echintu echikwato omuntu nechimuchusa that that ne walu ulira next year lucha munyumira that's what's missing right now abayimbi abali mu lijizo tubala byeko baze ne bakakana abamu right now they are within uh, the NRM political party gwe tukusubira ddyo kugenda kwe wamze Ah ah, the second agenda I'm 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 for Christ. That's where I I am. Uh second I don't like politics. Neither second I'm going to be a politics. A lot of people ask me that because I'm doing charity and they think it's we, it's to win some votes in the future. No, 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 no. I'm doing charity to serve God. No mambo jambo. Yeah. So, uh let's 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 now get up and close. Yeah. Get to know about Uh, we've been talking about business and before i even cross over to your personal life uh, are you doing music as a business or as something for fun i'm doing music as a business that's why you hear the music the quality of the music it's good you see the videos they are good ntekamu so chini tona cho tekamu bo subiro chifunamu it's not like i'm just playing around and i'm then i wouldn't like i said if i'm to do something i do it 100 if i'm not to do it sich kwata ko yeah when was the last time you held a concert wa dilo wasemba yo kubera ni concert i think it was two this a long time ago it was very nice though i'm not very good with with that yeah the time but it it was uh, behind game there's a field there we had a very big concert we had over 10000 people and it was amazing and successful and we made the money okay so, yeah. so when should Omuntu ayagalo kuli za ko mulundi omulala when should they expect to do expect a concert now that you're back Yes sometime next year I'm planning a concert and I feel like it's going to be one of those performances that are out of this world both secular and gospel and so we're going to have this interesting mix I'm, and I'm very confident because I know how to run a stage I know how to work a stage so when they hear an a date out there please guys <laughs> run and pay for your ticket because you will hear music like music that still that's still alive i that's why i was telling you about songs like songs that have a soul songs like how now done in different ways and just doing something also exciting because we are in different places and we can do it so why not okay mm. so we should uh should we expect you to do a little more uh secular songs um inspirational yes but non secular eh uh, like you won't hear me singing sexy again <laughs> <laughs> what had happened to you chiche chiche chali cha kutuka kololi eh siriwa i was in that state <laughs> i'm together have you ever been like that i am very honest with my music i'm very honest with my music so 
when you're there, you represent that. I say, but in those are more in the Boba six single chimani jira or college. I remember that time. I think I was, uh, I think I was still in school back then. Nkadi, yeah. wa kuvanti sikadiwa. Nonetheless, guys, we are still talking uh, music with, of course, none other than the diva herself, that is Grace Nachimera of Anviri Day of Fame. Anviri Deyo, let's talk about Anviri Deyo. Yeah. You, you, you highlighted something small, but what was the message behind it? What inspired you to sing Anviri Deyo? Anviri Deyo was inspired by what I went through. I went through what they call a spiritual attack that almost took my life. And glory to God that I am alive. I believe that I've been given a second chance. And even without him knowing me, uh, without you're all gangster and all that, yeah? And then God comes through for you in this big way. I feel like God has done something amazing and I pray and hope that most people see this interview and also get inspired to come to Christ because God is pure love and you come as you are. Tagenda kuja jingambo ba teka tistole chiwa. So I yanjagala nam vida yo in the hardest situation of my life. I it's very hard to explain that thing, but I'll try as we go. But anyway. Nonetheless, so after Anvidi Deo, mm. you have another new song. Yes. What was the message behind it and why then? Okay, the message behind this new one, the song is called Yan Sasira. The message behind it is God's mercy, God's love, God's way of doing things. Like, since you, gosh, I don't know, it's very hard, but anyway, I'll try. Katona na kuwa galanga buoli, na kukiriza nga buoli, and then na saving a life. You know, no longer real, for me, I've seen real mir miracles. I've seen real changes. I've seen things. I've seen them myself. I've seen God's presence in my life. God has repackaged me. God has made me a brand new person. I feel for sure that I've been given a second chance to be here. And I don't take anything for granted. I am thankful. So I sang Yansasira to just give you a picture of how his mercy was and is in my life. That even this day, Yansasira atesivisanira. Do you understand? Yes. Well, that is uh, Grace Nashimera for you. I'll basically be ending this particular segment. But don't forget, because I have a lot in store for you, just a short while, we'll be right back. Hello, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Dems Duke is my name. If you're new here, please subscribe. We are back with Grace Nashimera. I think if you saw the last one, the first one, that was the first segment. And so this is the second segment. Trying to get up and close with Grace Nashimera. Wajavu deyona tumazo bidaba. But now, we want to get... um, well, Zendi city born. I um, my village is not very far actually. Um, I was from Kumpia, Omuyenga, Bukasa. So the job anzala. Nembera wa nomukambala for first and foremost. So you've been here for the life. Yeah, for the rest of my life, for all my life. Okay. Yeah. Many people don't want to. Many ladies that I've interviewed, to be very honest, don't speak their age. Yeah. Will you be honest with us? I don't think that's the answer that you need, really. I don't have to say my age name, Manya Ndimutumukuli. And I'm very grateful to God that Ndimulam. So I understand my age name, Yaka Jangaji is Okti Somun. So I'm going to young girl. How old are you? But I am looking cute and that's fine. Okay. So, what is it? 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 What is at least you're not in 20s. No, I'm not in my 20s. I'm 30 something. And I'm very grateful to God because I'm not a fan of 
na yo chila ba nti nzi nchari mramu hati nzi saate sina wadene tabu ndi clean from head to toe okay. so grace ojoti okutandika music mm, music was uh, i was inspired my, by my brother juju my big brother he's my inspiration he always pushed me to do this he's like no let's do it come on give it a chance try something so and then i got in the mix and then started doing it i started singing i performed some time back in rwanda mil colin used to perform in a band there so went on pola and pola until i got into the, into the mix and i started professionally when i did anyakumani after that i'm, I'm full cooler the rest was history a, until this musical break and now I'm video and then Yan mm. so uh, you want to tell you want to tell somebody out there watching that uh, it, it's not something that maybe you've, you you like to work with Sinti Oyagala Kuyimba Wabula at some point you were like okay my brother is doing music and he's good so that's not that's not it i i loved music i always loved music i performed i remember performing at sharing when i was seven years old but being pushed to say that okay now let me take this seriously because i was just playing around talent shows in school i was at in choir 10 o'clock mass uh, christ the king so i've been <laughs> doing music yeah it's just that to take it seriously i was pushed by uh, my brother inspired me to take it seriously Hey, and he's still my inspiration to this day. Okay. So, Olo Bakuzade, Ogambi Muyenga, how many were you, are your parents still alive, mm. stuff like that? Uh, my dad, I lost my dad at three. Mm, I was raised by a single mom. She's a gorgeous lady. She's one of the best moms ever because she taught us one thing, friendship. Like, it's okay to be friends with your parents and kind of communicate to them and talk to them about your issues. So I also followed that and kind of took that on with my daughter. Going, since she's like becoming a teenager, we have to have that communication. It's very important for a child to get that. And in this world whereby WhatsApp is everywhere, the phone is crazy, you don't know who she's talking to. So I always try to do that. Yeah, I was raised by a single mom, uh, two brothers and two sisters. I was the last born. I'm the last born. You're the last born? Yeah. Okay, Kati, so where did you start school? Because Oyogira Luzungu Sirubi, very good English, to be very honest. So how, how was your school life? My school life was a bit challenging, but Ndimugez. <laughs> exactly. So I did Bati Valley Primary School. I did Old Kampala Secondary at, at a certain point. Then I did a hair course in Nairobi, Revlon Hair Beauty School. I opened up a saloon. I'm a hustler. I've been doing this. I've been doing this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so um, Bobo Botanica music. Mm. What, apart from your brother, who else inspired you? I have. I've met a lot, a lot of people along the way. I met a gentleman by the name of Peter Nawe, who was a very good songwriter. I worked with from the first song, meaning um, Fukula to the cow nows and all. He was a very good inspiration, great inspiration. I've met people like Chimua, oh my God. That, Grace Chimua? Yes, Grace Records. Ah, oh, to this day that guy is just <laughs> mind blowing for me. He does the most amazing music like from that time and every song is so different. Well, as other producers, they, look similar. they sound the same and you're like, okay, what's here? Then I've met people like Silva Chagulani, who is a mentor, who is smart, like Otula Naino Vayonga, Winacho Tege Choizem. So much respect to all those people. I've, I've had an amazing journey throughout. I've also worked with a gentleman by the name of Carl. He was my manager at some point, Neto Gira. Now moving on, now getting moving on. So we've worked, I've worked with a lot of people because things keep changing. Hmm? So, like that, Mpola Mpola, yeah. So who writes your music? Most of my music, I co-write. I'm part of the writing because it's real. 
Niranga when you know dent, China, Vamuns, or else, or Montasola, a great somebody get a kayin, Bacaco, Ninka Quata, Ninka Banning, Catram Studio. No, that's not how I work. Chino Kuvanga change your get at two. There is some attachment to it. Exactly. So that's how I do my music. Okay. Even the recent music? Yes, I worked with Silver Chagolani though. Yeah. I remember working with Silver Chagrani even back in the day when I, w I made this song Kwagala Kufa Naya Tenze That was also one of my favorite songs And then now I have Yang Sasira which is my favorite song Jesus is Lord So uh, let's talk about uh, the, the, the way how you know Ugandans are lately singing Abantu Abam do they have issues with their vocals? Because you're one of the vocalists that we know in the country. Abam buying back by Nyaku stage in Obalabanga, they are struggling with their voices. How do you manage to make yours? Uh, I mean, to be able to can't cut it. Like you say, things were different then. Like people back in the day, you would you, know, you would try to, even though you're performing on a CD, no gender with a track. No performing a track so people can hear your voice. It's about that. Mm. To show the yes, but now you can just go and dance and go home. No, uh, you uh, but what do they call that? A high ping, high pins. It's not even like singing the song from word to word. It's just being like your own hype man. So that's also there. Recently, to I know your beef, uh, music industry. That was between. Era uh, to get about the vocals. Uh, Obama umogere linya yes kamogere kubanga mumanyi sindi yali alangira shiba okubanga tasobola kuyimba live yeah uh, ne shiba naye naba ko ne byamulangira nti taina nyumba <laughs> what do you make of such comments coming from big artists of that nature what i uh, i feel like it's very weird i i feel like a house is nice to have and you can tosola kuzala work wa shiba because that would be disrespectful. But then also, given the, ins the, the, the time Cindy has had, Shiba has not had the same. But then also, being serious about your craft and doing something about it is important. Watch together. That's why you see management is very important in an artist's life. Mm? Or me being a shiba na sobolo ko achieving even to every because ali well managed. Kati ngano me being a Cindy etaga and those over management I think. Or ko achieving even because she's really good and shiba is also really good. So just be fake, be fake, ko be ya gale. Love is good. <laughs> Don't hate. Okay. Now that you're back into the music industry, to kusubi de, to kusubi de to gina beira for some time or about just to keda. No, I'm, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this because I have a purpose now. I'm not just doing it. I'm serving God and I wanna do inspirational music and I wanna do good music. Music at our day, your music is going into a And I will a production, really. This is a product from Uganda. That's where I stand and I'm going to do that music with a purpose. Yes. Where do you see? Where do you want me to get a job? I have more homes to take care of more people, more children, because I love children. I see myself doing more gospel music concerts all over Africa, because I want to do more of Africa. So, I'll, but with God's grace, I will be able to do more of Africa. I will be able to do more of Africa. I will be able to do more of Africa. Yeah. For somebody perhaps watching us right now, nga wudi danti ayagala na yabe de konga grace na chimera. What advice would you give them? Um advice yen so wolo kuwa muntu ye na by the way nunga si via luali ba wa abantu to sabe ko most people take things for granted. No kwa to mwako so kano go ko vidinga. You've not taken time to pray. Talk to God, your creator, akuzuk sango is steady every day. Don't let's not let's not take God for granted anymore. Let's do something about that situation. To save coca to under no mutagalo wedang zin this steady snaps I save katonda wali. So uh to yebu zo you get an yoku yesu. What's your relationship with Jesus? When do you meet Jesus? I love Christ because he's he's everything for me right now. I'm better down into winji, attention money. 
ayagala abantu bona nera abantu bona bagaloko if you're going through something now can you ninga tochitegera please just remember that Christ is the answer Christ is the answer do not take that line for granted Christ is the answer njaga lo tubulide when do you meet Jesus when do i meet when do you become born again are you born again anyway i'm born again when i met when i started a relationship with Christ it's about, it's about 2 years ago eh yeah. Because a lot of people say they are local, and then over what happens? <laughs> so for me, this is serious. So that's why I'm quiet about it and making moves that way. Mm. How many children have you so far supported? Like Abamu, Bavu Demo Musomero, or like in terms of graduations, are they still in school? And how, like Kabana Chi, size Chi? Most of my kids are toddlers, so Bato, Bato, you know, they are babies. Um, I was seeing, Kati, I have Bato Bambi, most of them are more people. So, but there are many, and they are there. So What's they are, the criteria? Uh, most, most of our children are abandoned children. We have one who is tired of being with us, who is not worried. We have to go to the house, and we have to go to the house, and we have to go to the house. We found a family in Iganga that had literally nothing. The house was going to fall over, so we put a home together, and now they have a, a, a they have a roof over their heads, basoma, and we are taking it slowly. It's not like the chichi, but we do the best that we can. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Are you? Do you have like a, a, a sort of a, a music group that you sing? You know, you just solo like it's you, you and you and you. I'm a solo artist. I'm not in any group. because mm. uh, would you love to create a group like maybe have your own band perhaps yeah. stuff like that? In the future, yes. Okay. But my focus right now is on the fact that the charity yes and the music yes. Is it true that your brother is uh, your current manager and why did you choose it to be that? Is it true first of all? No, it's not true. I don't have a manager right now as we speak. Uh, um, but I'm taking things slowly. I know that God will guide me to the right person to work with, and I'm open to that. Mm. Okay. Yes. So, so, okay. So the relationship between you and Juju is just that he's your brother. Yeah, he's my brother. He's a musician, and we work together. Okay. Yeah, but he doesn't manage me. Okay. Yeah. So what music? What other music uh, songs should we expect? as we wind up 2019 mm. wind up 2019 i know that early next year i'm releasing a few other inspirational songs and love songs as well because i i, I believe that even christians fall in love they get married every day sure. yes yeah, so love songs inspirational music good music so you know we are pop pop pew, pew, pew. Okay. Yeah. like you've heard it from her she is back and she's here to stay again nakubanga asigalao Sivi libe tuwa itu manjide, nti ya vudeo, aa, kuluna wako mieo, ila mwemwe na baba debe ili jila mkubolie, ndoza agenda bami yunga, wuno wano ya atuidu yogele de. So, if you do not mind, if you could give us an acapella of... I'm giving you yansa, sida. Okay, no problem. Or else, even ambidi deyo. Ambidi deyo. Okay. Yantu nuwira nechisa. Yesu, he ansasira, yampita, erinya, grisi, he ansembeza, he ankwata, kumukono, he anungamia, yadesari murunji, he ansasira. Hey, hey, it's your girl, Bobo All right, that is it. <laughs> that is it from uh, our, our guest today, Grace Nachimera. Thank you so much, guys. If you have not subscribed, please do so. Uh, if you are also looking for, do you have a channel? That's Grace Nachimera. Yeah, it's Grace Nachimera TV. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Instagram, it's at Grace Nachimera. Mm -hmm. Facebook, it's at Grace Nachimera. Please come on over and see what's happening because it's on fire. Mm. So guys, make it a point to subscribe to all her channels, go there, follow her, but also leave a comment down there. What do you want to know more about Grace? Because this is not the first time and perhaps it's not going to be the last time I'm posting her right here. So I'll be having her. You'll be also seeing more of her performances. So make it a point to subscribe and keep it right here. Until then, it's a good life from us. Peace.